sometimes I'm like, like, is this too good to be true, you know? Hell to the no. A little bit blotchy. Y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't see that at all. Take it home. Talk all day then at night falling deep Stimulate me Lighting bad? Like... Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Zanthony and if you're new and welcome to today's vlog. I've come to realize that I'm just a really impulsive person because for one when an idea comes to me i just go for it like i just go for it last night y'all this hair was 30 inches long third it was 30 inches long y'all i was like you know i feel like cutting it and one of my mom's remember i was like mom do you like mommy do you have scissors and she was like yeah and i was like i feel like cutting the hair and he was like why would you do that and i was like just because i wanted to so i cut it and I love it. And like I just woke up, so it doesn't look like amazing right now. But I'm gonna do some with it because I'm actually gonna record a video today. So yeah, today you guys are just gonna spend the day with me. I'm gonna catch you guys up on a few things. We're gonna go shopping. Well, not shopping, but shopping for a few items to this place and then to Target. Um, I'll tell you what the place is soon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce the vlog. I'm gonna start getting like ready for the video because it's like a sit-down video, so you know I can't just be looking like this because no. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm just gonna be getting ready. And you know, I'll take you guys with me, like why not? So I'm just gonna about to take my vitamins for the day. No 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 sit. Anyway. Ow, that kind of hurt. I'm gonna quickly do my lashes and I'm just doing a refill because, look, if you look up here, there's no lashes here. This side is pretty good, but I'm gonna put some like right around here. So it should only take me about 15 minutes. And yeah. Hey guys, so I just finished my lashes. I don't think they're like really coming off on camera. So next, I'm gonna put on just a little, little dab makeup. Just, you know, just a little dab. Just a little dab. And I guess while I'm doing my makeup, I can talk to you guys about the things that I want to talk to you guys about. I feel like this light is really bright and my lighting is very much off. I'll be doing my makeup. If you're new here, I, I don't really know how to do makeup. I just be doing makeup. But I just wanted to talk to you guys like about a few things. First and foremost, I just want to say how good God is. Like, God is so good like so many good things have happened in 2023 and it's literally only been 12 days of the year like when i tell you guys so many good things have happened like it, it's actually crazy like you know coming from two consecutive years where the lighting is still so bad sorry guys but coming from two consecutive years that were you know pretty pretty awful 2023 has had an amazing start, you know? And it's nothing but God. Literally nothing but God. So, I've talked on my channel about not liking my job. Or, yeah, not liking my job. That, let's just be completely honest. I don't like my job. One of my goals for 2020. Three, not even for 2023 I wrote down like at the beginning of the year I did like 
a list of things that I wanted to accomplish in 2023 and finding a new job by the by February of 2023 was top of my list guys when I made this list I made this list like not even kidding you like on the fifth maybe the fourth because I came back from the Bahamas on the second and or maybe I did it on the fourth yeah I think I did the list on the fourth because I low-key recorded a whole video with you guys I doing a pamper but I just didn't like how the video was but I did say something at the end of the video that like it was so true and if I still have that clip I'll insert it. drive here I was really really thinking like I know that 20 from like 2019 to 2022 it it's been crazy like things have not gone how they were always supposed to be you know I had a lot of goals and I didn't meet all of them but when you really take a second to like think about it I accomplished most of my goals and yeah although I didn't get to accomplish all of them I did get to accomplish most of them which is a plus you know maybe some things just weren't meant to be accomplished yet but I feel that in 2023 I will accomplish everything that I set out to do but I just have to make sure I get back on track and do the things that I'm supposed to do so I just want to take a second to thank God for everything because without him I wouldn't have accomplished all the goals that I well most of the goals I had set out to do yeah guys I'm just in a really thankful mood I don't know like it's just been such a great day I feel like it's gonna be a great week today is what Thursday it's gonna be a great month you know I'm just getting back into the routine of things and you know everything is just going so great like it started off really rough mind you but you know try to keep a positive attitude well I tried to keep a positive attitude and look I just I feel really good guys all I gotta say is God is so good y'all it is the 12th yesterday was the 11th I have a new job within a week I got a new job it's just crazy with me my goal was literally by the end of january beginning of february wanting to have a new job and i will have a new job by the end of january like i won't start until the end of january which is freaking crazy to me and it's not only a new job it's where i need to be for my career you know i don't i honestly don't remember ever telling you guys if i wanted what i want to do but I want to be a surgeon. So ultimately the next goal is to go to medical school. But I just want to do a few things because I don't think I'm ready yet. As just as yet to go to medical school. That's just like I want to be able to give that my all when I go. And I just want to do a few things before I go. So yeah. Manifesting is a real thing. Like when I say real, it's a real, real thing. I tell you guys that I wrote out everything that I wanted to accomplish and everything like I wanted to do in 23. I literally wrote it down and I can see it like literally coming, coming true. And it's crazy because on Instagram, yesterday I saw, if you guys know who Erica J is, she's like a YouTuber, but she's also a businesswoman. She has like the hold me down glue. And I follow her on Instagram because, you know, I used to watch her YouTube videos, but she doesn't really post anymore because, you know, she's like a, she has her own business and it's a million dollar business. So, you know, sis has to focus on that, which, you know, I don't mind, but she basically made a post about how manifesting is so true and how her mom found her diary or she found her diary i don't remember everything that she asked for 10 years previously or wanted 10 years previously is coming true right now for her and like when she was talking about it i just found it like like it's true because literally if you write down everything you put your all into what you're doing it can happen and like i said i've been seeing that all of 2023 and it's only been <laughs> 12 days i'm gonna give you guys a few examples 2022 in december um it was like the 22nd or the 21st of december 
I talked to you guys before about I think I have there guys I've recorded so many videos but I've just never posted them because I just didn't like it or something I don't know but there have been times when I have talked to you guys about my favorite pharmacist and how she's just like she's so amazing like I absolutely love her um so I w it was just me and her that night because it's always just usually me and one and the pharmacist that night because them people they need help Oof, them people are gonna need a lot of help Oof. anyway so we were just talking and I was telling her like my goals I don't even know how we got talking about it but like I was telling her how I wanted to be a doctor and how I really needed like some hours within or experience in you know the medical setting yes I do have some but I still I still need more is what I was basically telling her and what I didn't know is that her husband was a doctor and she, she told me how he was a rheumatologist and where and they were looking for more people because they were losing some of their staff because their staff was going to medical school and she was like, she'll see if they need any more, you know, help. So she spoke with her husband and it turns out they did need more help. Y'all, yeah. when I got back, tell me why, literally the next day I got an email. Or not an email. Yeah, no, she messaged me and she was like, send your resume to this email address. I sent it. Literally a day later, they asked me to come in for an interview. So I had the interview yesterday, and before I left, she was like, yeah, you definitely have the job. I'll just call you at the time of details. And let you know. They wanted me to start this Monday. Today is Thursday. They wanted me to start this Monday, but I told them I just need to get my job like, at least a week's notice. And technically, I feel like I don't have to because... I'm a part-time. I'm part-time, but I work full-time hours, which is crazy. But yeah, I don't really get any benefits of my job or anything, which, you know, sucks. This job, I'll get more. You know? So our, I'm not too stressed about it. So I have to find a way, you know, to tell my boss that I'm not coming back to work. And it's not the people that I do so much like at my job. It's more so, you know, some of the policies... And like that it's so much work and when I I feel like we don't get paid enough for it, you know? But yeah. So I actually do like the people that I work with. So that's gonna be the sad part. Like I don't wanna leave them, especially my favorite pharmacist. But you know, I have to do what's best for my career, like if going to another job is gonna help me, then I have to do that. I feel like she only offered like that like that her husband was a doctor and that she could speak with him is because I'm such a hard worker. Like I've told you guys in my previous vlog, like that was before I went to the Bahamas. I feel like no matter how much you hate your job, you shouldn't nobody should ever know that you hate your job. My mom always taught us when we was when we were young that if you work hard, you come in early, you leave late, somebody will notice. Somebody will always notice and like it'll be beneficial for you in the end. Like yes, it may be more time or hours, you may be tired more, but it will pay off in the end and it is. It's paying off. Like it's paying off. And I feel like she see, like she saw my hard work because she's not the only one who sees it. Like everybody else sees it. They're always asking me to come in when, on my day off and I'm always going. They actually asked me to come in today, but today is the first time like I had to tell them no because like I, I had plans. Like if I didn't have plans and you guys asked me sooner than yeah, I would have come, but like I actually have I have I have work. This is this is work. So that's one of the new things. I am changing my job. I am going to be working for a rheumatologist um, private practice. 
I'm gonna be a medical assistant there. I haven't started yet, so I don't know exactly what that means or what I what I will be doing. I've been looking around, looking at different videos of like people doing it, like what they do on YouTube and stuff. But everybody seems to be very different. Like some are more, you know, able to do more things than others. So I don't know what that really means for me as yet, but we'll see. And a few other things that have happened. Um, there's so, been so much good guys, like I don't even know like what to tell you guys, like it's just been so much good and like sometimes I'm like, like is this too good to be true, you know, like it's just so much good, like back after back after back, it's like, <sighs> y'all, it's like crazy, okay, and I'm just so appreciative to God for one, because without him, none of this would have been possible. And then to myself for working so hard, like, yeah, I work hard. One of the other things that <laughs> is happening, y'all, it's when I tell y'all, it's so much good things. Like, I don't even know, like, I don't even remember most of them because it's so much good things. So that's one of them. I got a new job. I also got accepted into grad school. So, <laughs> y'all, I applied, like, I want to say like the day it was due that's never like me I always do things way in advance when I applied to college everything was done for me by like October or maybe even before that and <laughs> like I'm just I'm just not the type of person to wait last minute to do anything because I have such bad anxiety that I just I just don't wait so I applied to grad school and I got in so congratulations to me but yeah um it's just my master's in business admin it's nothing spectacular i did not want to do another science hell to the no um and i didn't want to do anything that would be t be doing too too much you know it's a master's yes it's going to be harder but at the same time it's not a science so it shouldn't be you know as draining if you know if you know if you know okay if you know you know all my science majors out there you you guys know what i mean I'm going back to school, but my master's is going to be online. So, I, I don't have to move again, which is like a, a huge plus. Like, y'all, those two things within itself happening in 2023 is, you know, amazing. Some other, like, smaller things happen, but you know, it's the fact that they happened like for me you know we also got a bonus at my current job which i guess none of us were really expecting because i've never gotten a bonus from cbs before so i was not expecting that but i got a bonus not a lot because i'm part-time but you know i wasn't expecting it so something is better than nothing I also, my credit score jumped up, like, y'all, I have, like, good credit. Like, it's about to be great credit. Like, that's another thing to be thankful for. And then they also increased my limit. Y'all, like, good things have been going, like, for me, you know? And I'm just, like, I'm just so proud of myself because this is the person that I wanted to be. Yeah, guys, like, I'm just, I'm on a high right now. That's, that's the best I can describe it, like. I'm just on a high. I'm so grateful and so thankful for you know everything that's happening in my life right now and all the things that will happen because you know 2023 literally just started not even two weeks ago and it's like you know so much good i can't stop saying that guys like because it's literally so true oh that's why i was telling you guys like we have to go to a store because i have to go and buy scrubs and i saw like this place i could order it online but then i didn't know what sizing i was because in different scrubs i'm like different sizes so I didn't know what size to get, so just to be sure, because I honestly don't have that much time, I don't want to have to, like, you know, buy it online, and then 
add him, like if it doesn't fit, fit I'll have to send it back and then like you know reorder it like I don't have time for all of that so I'm just gonna go in store that's one of the places you have to go to I think it's called like uniform something so that's one place that we have to go to for sure and then I need like little stuff like deodorant and stuff I may actually got a like, gift certificate to Target so we're gonna go to Target and then I believe that thing like <laughs> I'll probably get something on um, something to eat on the way home I'm just gonna curl this hair record this video and then we'll be on our way the video I'm recording is a what's in my bag it's gonna be really short it shouldn't take me more than like 10 minutes so I'm pretty sure that video will be out before this one so if you haven't checked out that video make sure you go and check it out I'll place it right here or right over there <laughs> I don't know in one of these corners okay guys how do I look I feel like my makeup is looking a little bit blotchy I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, let me go record this video so we can hurry up and go. Yeah. Hey yeah, guys, so I just finished recording the video. And like I said, it didn't really take long. It took me like. It really didn't take that long. It's literally about to be 11 o'clock. I think I woke up at like 8. So to do my makeup, my hair, record, and record this and record the other video. I feel like maybe it took me like 20 minutes. So now I just have to edit that video. Right now I'm trying to decide if I want to take this makeup off first before I go... Because if I'm going to be trying on scrubs, like, I don't want the makeup to get on the scrubs, you know what I mean? So that's my dilemma right now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take it off because I don't want the makeup to get on the scrubs. Hopefully they're open right now because... Like this side of my hair, I don't know, it just it's so weird. Like it didn't curl properly, I guess. I don't know. I'm just procrastinating. Like I just really need to go and do these things because <sighs> yeah, I just need to stop procrastinating. And y'all, I'm really loving like the short hair. Like you guys know that I usually wear like only long hair, but I'm actually really, really, really liking the short hair. So this might be my new look for a while, you know? What do you guys think? So I'm just rambling at this point. I really need to go and put on, throw on some clothes just so I can go and try on some scrubs. And then head to Target and get something to eat because it's 11 and I haven't eaten this yet. So yeah, let, let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, so I'm going to go to my mom's bathroom because I don't wear makeup so I don't have makeup wipe for my week. So I'm just coming in here to steal some. put some more moisturizer on and some sunscreen because I need my sunscreen okay so I've been using the L'Oreal Paris collagen moisturizer it looks like this I've been using this as like one of my moisturizers for my face just decided to buy the sunscreen i've literally only been using it for like three days so there's no difference yet but we're gonna see right now i'm just trying to focus on my hyperpigmentation like they're on my cheeks and after that i feel like my skin besides that my skin i feel looks like pretty good 
well not good but better than it has been in the past so yeah Okay y'all, so I just left the place to buy scrubs. It's called Uniform Advantage. And y'all, and they're really nice. Like it's actually really really nice. Oh fuck. Y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't see that at all. Y'all did not see that. Oh, look. scrubs are expensive. I mean, I always knew that they were expensive, but they're expensive. I just I bought two uniforms, so like two tops, two bottoms, and my total was one hundred and eleven dollars. So yeah, that was expensive. As much as I hate TVS, <laughs> they never. I never had to pay for a uniform there that I worked at. They just gave me more for free because they were amazing i love my old store i will always forever love my old store yeah we had a little bit of drama here and there but i love my old store this new store my manager just asked everybody if we wanted new um scrubs and i guess it's gonna be free so yeah i never had to pay for scrubs from cvs and i guess that's because they want us to wear specific scrubs at this new job where i'm working at it's you wear whatever scrubs you want like as long as it's royal blue like it just has to be royal blue so i guess like that's why because you have to like you can wear any scrub so she said i could get my scrubs from them but it probably she said that nobody really like gets it from them because they aren't that great but it wouldn't have been free, so I might as well spell my coin with something that I actually want. Y'all, I was supposed to go to Target, but that's Loki so far, and I'm being so, so lazy. And I'm so hungry, and I'm not gonna stop to get something to eat, and then go to Target, you know? Like, I'm not gonna do that, because one, I don't like eating in my car. I, I don't like it. I don't like eating in any car. Like, yeah, maybe chew on some fries. I don't really like eating in the car. I like eating in the comfort of my bed or at a table, watching TV, being entertained while I eat. That's just how I like it. So I'm not gonna stop for something to eat, leave it in the car, go to Target, and then go home to eat cold food. You know. So I'm just gonna go to Taco Bell. Um, get the food and then go home like what else am i gonna do it is still pretty early it's only 12 o'clock by the time i get home it'll probably be like one maybe even sooner than that um so technically i could go back out later tonight and do it but do i want to is the question you know i'm the type of person once i get home i'm not leaving again like it's an over so we'll see what I decide to do. Knowing myself, I'm not gonna come back out. <sighs> I could just do a dash at Target real quick, you know, real, real, real quick. But I'm just, I'm not in the mood. Because, you know, I've actually never been to Target, like, just browse around and shop. Whenever I go there, it's always because I need something specific and I, like, run in there and I run out because I never have the time. So I, I kind of just wanted to go in today and like browse, even though I need like one or two things. I really only need one thing, but I just wanted to browse. But the one thing I need, it isn't like urgent. Well, it kind of is. It's deodorant. It's native deodorant. But I can get that at CBS locally for cheaper, but I do have that at, um, oh, there's a Walmart out here. Wow, I didn't know that. You know, everything is out here anyway um i haven't been to walmart in like years like years years when i used to live in miami we would go all the time but when i moved to boston there was none in the city you had you would have to go out, like on the outskirts and i was not about to take the train like a bunch of different trains just to go to walmart you know it would have been like probably an hour plus just for me to go and i'm not doing that so i never went when i was in boston 
and then I moved here and I didn't know that there was a Walmart right there. I mean, it's not like right there, but it's it's within 20 minutes. Um, but yeah. Well, at least I know I know. Big girl things, you know? I'm growing up. This year I'm gonna be 22. Like, I cannot believe it. I'm gonna be 20 freaking two. And I still feel like a child. Like, I make my own money. Like, I take care of myself, but I still feel like a child. Like, I think... It, I don't know. I still feel like a child. Yeah. So, I still feel like a child. Like, when I was in high school, one, I did not want to graduate because I knew that meant that I would have to become an adult. And I did not want to become an adult. Like, all, every year we get older, I would literally cry because I did not want to... I didn't want to grow up. And now I'm growing... I mean, I've been growing up, but now I'm, like, growing up, growing up. And it's not even, like, the fact that, you know, I have to pay for, um, like my bills and stuff it's not even like that aspect of it it's the fact that i just wanted to stay like you know a child forever because children have the best fun like they don't really have to worry or have any like responsibilities like you can just be free and be yourself and being a child is the best if you ask me okay? my camera's dying so i'll most likely pick you guys back up when i get back home Okay guys, so I'm about to end this video. I just want to show you guys a few things. I found Amazon. The place that be taking all my money. So the first thing I got is this Dr. Scholl's Ultra Hydrating Foot Mask. And it says, intensely moisturizes, repairs, and softens rough dry skin with a blend of essential oils and urea. So I got this for my feet it's a foot mask like i just said and i just bought some dove because i ran out and i love using this body wash this is a twin pack of the gentle exfoliating one which i really 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 love because it has like that bead bead thing in it and it just really helps exfoliate and this is two and this is only like 12 dollars, so that was really really good and i also bought this neutrogena hydro boost it's an eye gel cream Y'all, I'm really trying to get on my skincare, like, this year. Like, when I tell y'all I'm trying to level up, I'm trying to level up, like, for real, for real. basically bought, like, a bunch of different products for, a diff for different things, and I'm just testing out to see if they work. If they don't, then I'll just, you know, move on to something else. But for now, I'm just testing out, like, little products to see, like, what the difference, or if they even make a difference. just bought this retractable badge holder with ID card holder set. So it's just this thing, you know, to keep my ID and stuff in for my new job. Guys, I just got a new job. <laughs> so I'm just like, I bought this for that. Um, and this one comes with a two-pack. It was like $5, so why not? Lastly, I bought this, um, what is this even called? It's like, it's like an electronic drill but it doesn't have like a wire i have one of these but it i low-key dropped it inside of water and you know it still works it just it's been acting really really funny so i just bought another one this is like 30 dollars on amazon but they keep having like this discount on there and i got it for 14 dollars so the first time i got it, it was 14 and this time i got it is 14 so I will get this, you know? I have all these things linked down below if you're interested. Um, but yeah. That's all I have for today's video. I know we didn't really do much, but I just wanted to bring you guys along with me for a day. Guys, I have no life. I really don't do anything outside of work and school and that's it. This is my life. <laughs> um, I don't know. Who knows what 2023 will bring. So far, it's been absolutely amazing and so much things that i wanted to accomplish has come through so you know what can i say who knows what this year is gonna bring so maybe i'll try new things outside of my comfort zone and just you know take you guys along with me i definitely do want to start going on like dates like solo dates with myself you know treating myself because i deserve it maybe like every like maybe like every other week like on a like on a saturday because that's when i'll be off so i don't know maybe that's something i'll start doing 
maybe like either in February or March. Right now I don't got the time. But yeah guys, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like the video. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.